Hello everyone. Welcome to the Blockchain News Club. Let's take a brief intro into today's crypto updates before going into the details. IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva gave a sterner view, suggesting that banning crypto should be an option. The authority has failed to hold US SEC, Gary Gensler accountable for investigating capital market claims versus Sequoia's China principle. Ripple is now seeking operational licenses as virtual asset service providers in Ireland. The company is now awaiting a response from the Irish Central Bank. John E. Deaton is making a stronger case as to why crypto tokens should not be labeled securities. Nerd Nation on Box believes that XRP could hit a price point of $17. Before we dive deep into today's updates, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. It will help us a lot. IMF floats crypto ban idea at G20. As investors think about how people feel about the Fed's monetary policy changing, increased regulatory scrutiny has also made people less eager to buy. At the G20 meeting this weekend, cryptos were a hot topic. India has asked for a common set of rules to deal with the risks that come with cryptocurrencies. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen agreed that a strong regulatory framework was needed. She said, We haven't suggested outright banning of crypto activities, but it is critical to put in place a strong regulatory framework. We're working with other governments. IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva took a tougher stance and said that cryptocurrency could be banned. The IMF's comments came after it released a paper on Thursday about how to deal with the rise of crypto assets and the risks that come with them. In recent years, the IMF has taken a stand against cryptocurrencies, which has raised concerns about cryptos and the stability of the financial system. India has also become more strict about crypto. The IMF and the Indian government worked together on a draft crypto policy in March 2022. XRP lawyer urges this probe can lead to end of US SEC chair. Gary Gensler, the head of the US Securities and Exchange Commission, has been accused of favoring a few crypto firms and people over time. But the commission has also been blamed for the recent terrible crash of the stock market. Because of these actions, the digital asset market has become more unstable. In the latest sorts of actions, attorney John Deaton, XRP holders lawyer in the US SEC vs. Ripple case, launched huge assertions over the US SEC. He brought up the case of Sequoia China and said that this is a very important issue. He said that there might be a link between the US SEC chair, Sam Bankman escape, frides and the fall of FTX. The lawyer pointed out that Gary Gensler might not be looked at again if his connection were properly looked into. But Sequoia was on the list of the most important investors in the FTX while SBF had invested $200 million in Sequoia's funds. He said that the authority hasn't made Gary Gensler of the US SEC answer for not looking into capital market claims against Sequoia's China principle. According to the most recent news, the head of the US Securities and Exchange Commission said that everything except Bitcoin can be considered a security. But Deaton said that the writ of mandamus filed a motion to intervene, which forced the US SEC to admit that they can't argue that Ripple's native token, XRP, is a security per se. Ripple seeks license in Ireland as it plans to boost expansion in the EU. After getting into a fight with US authorities earlier this year, the cryptocurrency startup Ripple turned its attention to growing in other countries. Ripple is now trying to get operational licenses as virtual asset service providers in Ireland so that it can grow even more. Now, the company is waiting for the Irish Central Bank to answer. Once the approvals are in place, Ripple wants to passport its services throughout the European Union through a company based there. In an interview with CNBC, Stuart Alderity, who is the general counsel for Ripple, confirmed the change. Ripple said that it has two employees in Ireland right now, and to move forward, the company that created the XRP cryptocurrency plans to apply for a license for electronic money. In 2020, the US Securities and Exchange Commission sued Ripple for selling XRP without first registering it as a security, which they say is against the law. In 2012, the XRP altcoin was made. Ripple has been fighting the accusations in court for a long time and is now waiting for a decision on the case to be made in the first half of next year. Ripple, on the other hand, is trying to move parts of its business to other markets, even though the crypto market is down right now because the FTX crypto exchange closed. In the past few weeks, more than $200 billion has been lost on the global crypto market. The company wants to keep investing in the EU, where regulators are trying to set rules for cryptocurrencies. The EU approved the MECA rule draft earlier this year. This rule was first proposed in September 2020. Its goal is to create a single legal framework for crypto for all 27 EU states. This crypto policy could be aligned and put into action as early as 2024. 
The main goals of the MiCA framework are to protect consumers and stop market manipulation and other financial crimes in the crypto sector. As for Ireland, the country isn't totally against trying out new things in the crypto sector. Gemini was given a VASP license by Ireland's central bank so that it could do business there. Pro Ripple lawyer makes stronger case why XRP and several tokens are not securities. John E. Deaton, who started the company Crypto Law, is making a stronger case for why cryptocurrency tokens shouldn't be called securities. The lawyer for people who own XRP was responding to someone on Twitter who said that almost every coin or token was a security. Deaton said that this was not true and that the SEC's claim that the token itself is a security should not be allowed to continue in the crypto industry. Gary Gensler, the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission has said many times that most crypto tokens are securities. Deaton says that just because a token is packaged, marketed, offered, and sold as a security doesn't mean that the token itself is a security. He says that the token is just a bunch of computer code. He went on to say that the words investment contract or security had nothing to do with the asset itself, but rather with how it was offered and sold. Deaton uses three sources to back up his claim. First, in the Telegram case, the judge made it clear that the Gram token was not a security because it was just a string of letters and numbers. He also talked about Bill Hinman's famous speech, in which he said that the digital asset itself is just code. Third, he cited an article by Lewis Cohen, which said that no appellate court has ever held that the underlying asset subject to an investment contract transaction is itself an investment contract, and that there is no federal case finding that a subsequent transfer of that asset is a securities transaction. Deaton also said, we shouldn't call software code securities, even if it has been sold as one in the past. We forced the SEC to admit in its opposition brief that stripped-down XRP is computer code, he said. Top analyst speculates Ripple's XRP price might skyrocket to $17 amid SEC escrow burning reports. Someone in the XRP community who goes by the name Nerd Nation on Box recently posted a hypothetical situation that has gotten some people excited. As part of a settlement agreement, the SEC tells Ripple that it must burn half of its escrowed XRP tokens. If this happened, Nerd Nation on Box thinks the price of XRP could reach $17. All of this is, of course, just speculation, and there is no sign that Ripple will be forced to burn the XRP tokens they have stored away. But it does bring up an interesting question about what XRP might be worth in the future. Even without the hypothetical burning of escrowed XRP tokens, it's not impossible for XRP to reach the same market cap as Bitcoin, as Moon Lambo's Matt pointed out in a recent analysis video. At its peak, Bitcoin's market cap was around $1.3 trillion, and XRP would be worth about $25 if it reached a third of that. This may seem like a big goal, but it's important to remember that people are just starting to use cryptocurrencies. Many experts think that in the future, there will be more than one cryptocurrency with a market value in the trillions of dollars. It's important to know that even if Ripple burned half of the XRP tokens they had in escrow, it wouldn't change the amount of XRP that could be bought and sold on exchanges. Ripple's escrowed XRP can't be sold because it's encrypted and can't be used to buy anything. So, the only effect that burning XRP tokens would have is to make investors feel bad, as they react to the news. Ripple is likely to see its all-time high again. That might happen after the SEC resolution, when the crypto market is massively adopted, and when regulators accept cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for regular updates in the blockchain community.